donkey's years have passed and your donkey has probably been a treasured and important member of the family for many decades. Maybe your own donkey or maybe you've been foster carers to a pair of our donkeys for which we thank you. As a youngster, your donkey may have been energetic and playful, but things are different now. Old age is inevitable, but it need not be uncomfortable. Now is the time for extra special care. Now is the time your donkey needs you to be extra vigilant, to look out for any signs of age-associated problems. The donkey's downfall is its stoicism. Stoicism does not mean the donkey does not feel pain. It simply means that it tries hard not to show it, as any sign of weakness can alert a potential predator to easy prey. This might not seem relevant in the context of a donkey in the safe environment of home, but it is hardwired into the genetic makeup of donkeys and it has huge implications, mostly negative. Quite unlike a horse, who will normally make it very obvious if unwell or in pain, the donkey may be a little bit different, not quite himself, quiet or dull. A dull donkey must be considered as veterinary emergency. In our experience, examination can often find that a dull donkey is actually one that is seriously ill or suffering. Let us remind ourselves of a few common ailments that we need to look for in donkeys that are getting older. Arthritis, such a painful condition which may have a slow onset. Your once active pet may now be slow and a bit stiff and may find it more difficult to get up when lying down. Ask anyone about the pain of arthritis. Well, it's the same in donkeys. Laminitis. Bouts of this very painful condition may have left a legacy of permanent damage to the hooves, resulting in chronic pain and discomfort. Again, your donkey may only look a bit stiff and slow, but could be in a lot of pain. Dental disease. Loose teeth, missing teeth, teeth that are grown at abnormal angles, all these can cause pain and difficulty in eating. Eye disease. Sight loss may occur gradually as the once clear lenses become opaque. In familiar surroundings, with familiar friends, this need not cause too much stress. But the blind donkey should ideally stay in the same place it is familiar with and feels safe and confident in. Internal organ failure. Nothing lasts forever and it is common for older donkeys to have some degree of major organ disease. For example, if the liver is failing, the donkey may lose weight and suffer abdominal pain. A failing respiratory system could mean the donkey has difficulty with every breath. Cushing's disease, signaled by a particularly hairy coat, loss of muscle, lack of energy, and a greatly increased risk of the onset of laminitis. Mental decline. Just as in people, old donkeys may appear to show signs of dementia, such as disorientation and aimless wandering. All this sounds a bit depressing, but here's where you come in. To ensure your donkey enjoys life right to the end, you need to get into the habit of doing a really regular health check and to monitor your donkey closely. Here's a checklist that we recommend you go through at least on a weekly basis. It's a good idea to keep a diary of what you find. You may not notice a slow and subtle decline, but to look back at your notes, it may be more obvious and reveal just how much the donkey's changed. This will also be very useful for your vet to see. Lying down. Does your donkey get up and lie down without difficulty? Is your donkey lying down more than he or she used to? Are they lying down less? If your donkey finds it hard to get up, they may be unwilling to lie down. And do they enjoy a daily roll? Locomotion. Can your donkey walk and trot easily and turn without difficulty? 
Is your donkey a bit slower, a bit pottery, taking shorter strides? Are all the hooves the same shape and size? Long-standing subtle foot or limb pain can lead to a change in hoof shape of the affected limb. Is your donkey still walking as much as he or she did? Are they using all parts of the paddock? And do they still enjoy walks? Appetite. Are there any changes? Is your donkey eating enthusiastically and not dropping food, quidding? Does your donkey's breath smell sweet? A foul smell often indicates dental problems, but can also occur in other serious diseases. Is your donkey drooling or is there a nasal discharge? Does your donkey choke on food? Breathing. Does your donkey breathe with ease? Can they carry out normal activities without getting out of breath? Illustrated by nostril flaring. Is the breathing laboured or noisy? As donkeys are not athletes like horses, when they first show signs of breathing problems, unfortunately, the lung and airway damage is often very advanced and difficult to treat successfully. Body condition. Is your donkey losing weight despite a good appetite and lack of dental problems? The best time to check the body condition is when grooming. And if you have not been in the habit of grooming your donkey, now is the time to start. I don't know a donkey who does not really enjoy being gently groomed. And as a donkey ages, it may find it less easy to turn round to groom itself. It is the ideal time to check for any lumps and bumps that could be hidden under a long coat or any areas that may cause your donkey pain. Ear and head carriage. Is your donkey looking alert with frequently moving ears or is the head and ear carriage lower than it used to be with less movement? Behaviour. Is there a change of character? Is your donkey still alert, responsive and interacting with his friends? And what more can you do? Ask your vet to give your donkey a thorough health check. Mention any concerns you may have. If your donkey has had foot problems in the past, now might be the time to get the feet x-rayed to show the problems that don't demonstrate on the outside. Ask your vet about painkilling medication if your donkey shows any signs of slowness, stiffness or even frank lameness. There are many safe and effective products available. Unlike a horse, these need to be given twice a day often. These can make all the difference to the quality of life of your donkey. We are always more than happy to discuss donkeys with vets. Do let them know. After all, we do know donkeys. Make sure you use a registered equine dental technician or an equine vet that specialises in dentistry to check your donkey's mouth. Remind your dental technician that the donkey is old and may have an arthritic neck. A good donkey dentist may even work on their knees. Ask for a full report of the findings. There is no way that a full examination can be carried out unless the dentist uses a gag to open the donkey's mouth. Whilst the equipment might look alarming, most donkeys tolerate the gag very well and can always be sedated by your vet if necessary. Remind your farrier that your donkey is elderly. The sympathetic farrier will make efforts not to lift the feet too far off the ground, which can cause the donkey distress. If you have had x-rays taken, ask your vet to discuss them with the farrier so he can be guided in his trim. And remember, you are paying these professionals. If you're not happy with their service, then find somebody else. We all know that not everybody is good at everything. Your donkey and your pocket deserve to be treated by caring and interested professionals. Donkeys are different and you need to employ the services of people who understand that donkeys can't just be treated as small horses. A steep field may be seen as a challenge to a young donkey 
but is no fun for an older one. Old donkeys should be kept on flat land with an easily accessible shelter. What about your stable or shelter? Is it really able to protect your donkey from the worst of the weather? The older donkey may really feel the cold and a correctly sited draft proof shelter is essential. Maybe now is the time to invest in a rug to keep your donkey warm. Check your water trough and manger. Are they set low so your donkey does not have to raise his head to eat and drink? Are you able to take the chill off the water during the cold weather? Maybe it's time to gradually change the diet to incorporate short chop forage that your donkey will find easier to chew and digest. Long fibres, such as straw and hay, require healthy dentition to reduce it to digestible fragments and if swallowed unchewed, could lead to a blockage of the gut. You can also discuss this with your vet once your donkey's teeth have been checked. But there are many different short chop products on the market for horses and only some are suitable for donkeys. The Donkey Sanctuary can provide you and your vet with advice about what products are most suitable. If you follow all this advice and you realise that the enjoyment has gone out of your donkey's life, then the last and very good thing you can do for your donkey is to arrange a peaceful euthanasia at home. It is a good idea at this stage to talk through your concerns with your vet so that everybody can be prepared and in agreement with the decision. With modern drugs, euthanasia is quick and pain-free. On the day your vet comes, it is important to have identified the most appropriate, safe and practical place for the procedure to be carried out. Often, it is better to say goodbye and then leave your vet to carry out the euthanasia, either with an assistant that he or she has bought from the practice. Again, let your vet know in advance if you would like them to bring someone to help. Or with someone that you are happy is competent to hold your donkey at this difficult time. Of course you will be sad, but you know you have done the right thing for your donkey. I know some people regard euthanasia as a failure in some way. Actually, it's the opposite. Vets have the unique position that they can put an end to inevitable suffering in a kind and gentle way. You have enjoyed a long and happy relationship with your donkey and it is your gift to them not to let them suffer at the end. Quality of life is what matters, not life at all costs. We get many calls from people wanting to send their donkeys to the donkey sanctuary because they're having trouble making the decision regarding euthanasia. But we need to consider what is best for the donkey. Subjecting it to transport, a different environment and a very different way of life is unlikely to be the best outcome for the donkey at a very needy time of their lives. Your local welfare officer would be happy to visit to give you some support and advice. This will never be an easy time and it's good advice to have a plan to deal with the practicalities so you don't have to be burdened with the worry of what's going to happen on that day. Discuss the plan with your vet so that you both know where it will be best to carry out the procedure and what to do with the body afterwards. Remember that the loss of a companion is a very stressful event for the donkey friend. The friend should be allowed to remain with the body until they have lost interest, which could take several hours. But there is also nothing wrong if the donkey friend pays no attention to the body. Just like humans, each donkey will behave differently at a stressful time. Then keep a close eye on the friend to make sure it is eating and behaving normally. In our experience, the potentially fatal disease called hyperlipemia, brought about by stress, can occur up to three weeks after the loss of a friend. As a responsible donkey keeper, I know you will agree that a donkey who has given us such enjoyment over many years, the best we can give them is a good life and a peaceful death. Here at the Donkey Sanctuary, we have a large geriatric population, and by geriatric, we mean donkeys over 20 years of age. These donkeys will have regular quality of life checks 
carried out by our vets alongside the grooms caring for the individual to make sure that subtle deterioration is detected and monitored. This allows the team to make the difficult decision at the right time for each donkey. The old donkeys with chronic problems will be living in barns with extra warmth provided by heat lamps and will be able to graze on flat fields. They have a close daily eye kept on them, but a record, made weekly or maybe monthly, helps to monitor them accurately. We feel that with all the care in place, elderly donkeys can lead happy and comfortable lives. So please, enjoy your donkey and be there for them when they need you most. We at the Donkey Sanctuary are always here to offer you advice and support if you need us.